Hey Steve, this is Scott with Impact Latent SEO. I really look forward to meeting you tomorrow at our BNI group, and I hope you're having a good night. I wanted to shoot over this quick video just to show you kind of what I do and uh, how I can help get your business onto the first page of Google and grow your business. So uh, a few things I'm going to go over is content, backlinks, and citations, and I'll use some of your competitors to kind of just as a preface on because you don't have a website yet yourself. Uh, just kind of showing you what a website could do for you. So, uh, you know, looking right here, um, I would do a Roy Utah HVAC is kind of, since you're based out of Roy, uh, just using this area as an example. Usually get your Google Guaranteed Services right up top, and then your local ads down here. Um, this is great ways to generate business quickly if that's something that you're needing. And then you could move down into the Google Business Profile, and this is where a lot of traffic stops because people will either click here or if you're on mobile, um, usually there's a click to call button right here. And about 30 to 40% of the traffic go, stops right here and they don't even go into the organic section. And so this is a place you really wanna be is uh, in the Google Business Profile. You can start by constantly be having reviews added. You can make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. And then adding citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is really beneficial because the Google is like a big popularity contest. And by having your information uh, given out to as many people as possible, Google will start to trust you more. And that's not only in, in Roy, but in the surrounding areas as well. You know, Ogden, Layton, Clearfield, all of those. And uh, by being in the Google Business Profile, you'll the, it generates about 30 to 40% of the traffic that looks up this particular keyword just because you're right here. And then adding also a geo-tagged or geolocated photos weekly is beneficial because it shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And then we do move down into the organic listings down here. It looks like Mountain Air is one of your top competitors in Roy for this particular keyword. And if we look at their web page, I'm going to kind of go over what I would recommend for yours if you were to build a website or anything like that. <clears throat> um, but one of the biggest things that they do kind of have is they have a lot of content right here. Um, but like they don't have buyer intent keywords. They have air conditioner maintenance and air conditioner tune-ups as their keywords. Where if you had air conditioning replacements in Roy or in Ogden or whatever locations you service, those are buyer intent to me and you could be ranking for those keywords. And uh, just to kind of give you an example, so they have probably about 2,000 words on this page, maybe about 1,500. Um, but if you have more content with better buyer intent keywords, you could be rank, outranking your competitors. And just to kind of show you, this is a RFs, it's a tool I use called, and uh, it pretty much gives me your analytics and shows me where they're setting. For the DR and UR, this is the strength and trust that Google has for your website. I mean, this is theirs, obviously, but um, you want to have these numbers balanced and continuously moving up, and they are on a scale of 100. And they're at 0.9 UR because of the backlinks and referring domains, and then the DR is based off of most of the rest of their website. But if you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal, so you do want to make sure to get the authoritative ones as opposed to the spammy ones. And you do that by staying relevant to your industry and also your location. And it looks like they're only being indexed for four keywords. Um, Air, Now, Ogden, Utah, Roy's Heating, Money. None of these seem buyer intent to me um, for this particular back page. But if we were to just look up um, HVAC and then I added Roy and Ogden just because you're close to Ogden and I know Roy's kind of a smaller city, you know, there's 900 searches for some sort of uh, combination just between those two cities just for HVAC. But with HVAC, that could be maintenance, that could be technician, that could be company, contractors, service. You never know really what you're looking for. But what I like to do is go find the the keywords that are easily ranked for and really good um, buyer intent keywords. You know, right here, air conditioning replacement Ogden, Utah. There's 50 searches for that a month, and it's very easy to rank for. KD is keyword difficulty, and it's on a scale out of 100. So the higher the number, the longer it is to get ranking. 
But those are the types of buyer intent keywords that I like to go after so that you could also be, you know, it's a replacement. It's not just a service. And I know that that makes a little bit more money for you. So when you outrank your competitors by having more content, better buyer intent keywords, those authoritative backlinks and citations, a percentage of these total volumes will start to go to your website instead of your competitors. And you also get to kind of pick and choose what you want to be found for. And that's what I call the magic of the internet. But once you start out ranking your competitors, a percentage of these total volumes will go to your website instead of theirs. And then a percentage of the people going to your website will give you a call, and then depending on your closing rate, will turn into a customer for you. So Steve, I really hope this was beneficial for you. I will talk to you on Thursday, if not sooner, and have a great night. Thanks.